Alan, so we're obviously coming off the back of a disappointing result last week. How have the lads bounced back in training since? Look, to be, the credit to the players, they've been every week we've come in, haven't got the results, and we've just trained really well and hard. And uh, disappointment, obviously, there's a lot of disappointment around. But I think they they can see the improvement definitely with the new players coming in. We training has gone up a, a notch or two, and working really hard. That's all I can say. Like we're in every day and and trying to get things right. You mentioned new players coming in there. I think by my count, it's six we've brought in so far. How have they all kind of adapted to the squad since coming in? Yeah, I th- think there might actually be seven. It might, seven. May, is there seven? It might take on it anyway. But uh, yeah, look, they've done. They've come in and and uh, some are at different fitness levels. Um, some are like Ross Tierney's ready to play. Um, there's others need time to get in. So that's the ba- balancing act, I suppose, to try and get them ready. They have to do a pre- mini pre-season and into the middle of the season, which is new for, say, Liam Smith, for example. He's coming in and now into the middle of the season and he hasn't done much for two months. So it'll take time, but uh, look, some of them are closer than others. So you mentioned Liam there. Liam and Dawson, obviously, the two that have come in since our last game. Um, Dawson being a really big kill that the fans will be familiar with as well. Uh, how big of a sign is it to get Dawson in the door? Yeah, absolutely thrilled. Thrilled with it. Like One thing I found about, say, playing at Daily Mount is to be able to play under the expectation and the fans are so, uh, I suppose, they're driven and, and they want success and, and the standards, standards are really high. So uh, to be able to play under that pressure is something which... Uh, players have got to be able to do and Dawson 100% and Rossi can do no problem they're used to it you know the expectation here and the others will have to adapt to it and can you tell us a little bit about Liam as well obviously uh, a right fall is kind of a player that we've lacked a, a natural right fall in the squad obviously Martin's been doing a job there the likes of Keane Bourne have played there we haven't had an actual right fall at such yeah well, look it was a stage with a three but as like any manager comes in he wants to put his own style and, and uh, he is one we were chasing a while but again he has a bit of experience and uh, that's important to us he's a good age good talk Walker, um, really good career he's had so far and he's not coming here just to, I suppose, to wind down. He's here, he wants to progress, he wants to improve and wants to win. And a lot of the signings that we've made then as well, we've kind of dipped a lot into the Scottish market by the looks of it as well. What, can you give me a little bit of thought process about that? Well, one thing, is it's difficult to get players to come to Ireland. I'm sure every manager would say the same. Um, they want to stay in the UK. Um, Scottish lads seem to like to challenge and, and they're a good type. You know what you're getting from them, so... You speak to contacts and managers that you know and uh, what comes available. So like we have a couple of Scots there and there's been Scottish lads in the league um, You know, for the last few years. I've signed a few, Bowes have signed a few and hopefully these fellas can do well. Well, this week then we have arguably the biggest game you could have. Bowes and Rovers, many would consider to be the biggest game in Irish football. Add to that then you have uh, the knockout uh, cup game added to that as well. How big is this game? Oh, it's massive. It's really exciting and it's been great build up to it and Talk about motivation, there's probably none needed uh, for this type of game. Uh, lads are chomping at the bit, really exciting. Massive, massive game for us and it's one that we'll be going all out for uh, to win, that's for sure. It's, as you said, it's knockout. And uh, the one thing about it now, I find this one is we have a bench as well, you know, with the lads coming in that I found we've struggled as it's gone on in other games where this one I think we'll be adding uh, like for like. And obviously the toy is at home in Daily Mount. How much of an advantage is to have it there just for your home crowd and obviously it's our home ground? Yeah, look, to me it'll be you know, electric, I suppose, and um, you want to make it as hostile as, as possible without you know crossing over the line, but that's what we want, make it real hostile for them coming. The same as we get when we go to uh, Tala. Um, obviously behave yourselves you know but uh, let's uh, drive the lads on So the last fixture we had against Rovers here was the, the one all earlier in the season um, in the league where I think it was if I remember correctly I think it was the first half we, we kind of really put it up to them and could have actually had two or three goals in the half is that kind of the, the level that we need to be at then to get a result yeah, on Friday? Yeah, yeah I think the intensity has to be really high if you think of that game you know we were disappointed at half time but I'm not sure the fitness levels at the time and, and that so we dropped off and I'm hoping this one now uh, you know, it's been a while since we played that game, and we're definitely at a at a better place than we were then. So, hopefully, more the same as the first half. And then, just to kind of touch on as well, the the game the other night there, we had the likes of Rossi making his full debut coming back. Um, lads that know what a Dublin derby is, like as you said, Dawson's come in, Rossi did a night. Having those lads in the squad for Friday now, how how much of a difference will that make? Do you think? I think they're all aware of it. Uh, the importance of Lee Cavan and that is coming in. We'll get to see, you know, it's pro- proper real football and it's the biggest game in the league um, can have. Like so, um, they're well aware of it from the players speaking about it this week. The likes of Rossi and, and so on and Keith Buckley, they know what's at stake. It's it's so important for us. Not just a game now. This one, you know, it's it's a must win. Well, the best looking for Alan. Thank you. Thank you.